Sure. You want to go first? Sure. Uh, wait, I guess let me ask you, why do you disagree with Goku over Maris? Um, I just don't think there's any valid way to connect the two via scaling, or at least Goku over Miris, but I do think there's reason to believe that Miris can be scaled over Goku. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so I'll go first, I guess. <laughs> Let me get my phone out. Uh, all right, so your disagreement is mainly because you don't feel like there's, a, there's an actual way to scale Maris versus uh, Goku, yeah, I don't, but there is a I way to scale. Okay, go ahead. All right, so you know, um, early on in the moral arc, well, not too, not too early on, but pretty much right before um, Goku starts training with Maris, and around that time frame, actually, we find out that Maris inten intended to fight Moro himself, right? Um, you send the scans of that? Sure. Okay, give me a second. Mm -mm. All right, what do you mind, where, where should I post them? Uh, just scans. It's fine. Okay. All right, so it's around this point. All right, this scan right here, this is what segues into... Uh, I guess I should probably just post everything. Sure, let me just give you everything. Uh -huh. All right, sure. so all this is what segues into Goku's training with Maris. All right. Yeah. I'll Fair. post them now, just so that way, um, I guess as this as this conversation or debate progresses, I won't have to like be stopped halfway midpoint. So that way, I, you yeah. know, there, it'll make things easier. Sure. So I'm tr the reason I'm posting so many is to give you as much information as possible. I have I have a bad habit of doing that sometimes. So when people request scans, I post more than what's necessary. But I guess. Yes. There, the con to this is that at least it allows you to build off an argument from it. So I sure. guess it's like you can consider that as like a good gesture. All right. I'm almost done. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Mm. All right, there's that. And then eventually they uh, they go into the room of spirit and time once, once Maris confirms that... Uh, I don't know. He confirmed something from Goku, but you know, whatever. All right. Can I ask where you're going with this? Yeah. This is what segues into uh, Maris's intent to fight Moro himself. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we're getting there. All right. Mm -mm. All right, and then this is pretty much what confirms uh, Maris's intent. We're getting there. Sorry for the long wait, guys. Alrighty, there, right there. Uh, even more okay. egregious was your plan to travel to Earth and do battle against Moro. You knew. Okay. All right. So Maris intended to face Moro himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can actually create some level of scaling here. Okay, which would be? Okay, so the Moro that Maris intended to face, right? We can infer, I think it's safe to assume, that it would be the Moro that Ultra Instinct Sign Goku fought. Yes. Now, there is, around this chapter, when Goku does face off against Moro, I'm going to refer to him as Prime Moro, so that way we can actually, okay. you know, create distinctions between... Before 73? Before Moro 73? Yeah, because Moro 7, Moro, that's Moro 73, right? I'll, do it, I'll name yeah. them, so that way you understand it. So... Sure. Even though Maris, is, Maris did miscalculate Moro's strength, right? Um, we can actually create a scale here mainly because we know that Maris, in his, in his suppressed state, right, would be above that prime Moro that fought sure. Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, right? So his intent on facing Moro and finishing the job himself makes sense then and there. All right? Now, sure, sure. what... Okay, so what, what creates a difference now is that when, when Moro eats 7-3, he gets this massive power, power and speed boost, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Sure. And then we actually see Maris face off and square off against Moro 7-3. Now I'm sure you'll try to... Go ahead. But, sure. Do you think that the version of Miris that wanted to fight Moro was going to be the suppressed Miris and not just um, a powered up Miris? Well, what I just said... Well, who has that? Yo, Draco, you gotta mute yourself, bro. Draco, mute. Yeah. Alright, so... 
what I just said was that Maris scales above that moral casually. Um, yeah, sure. I would agree. Yeah. I do think they fall and I do think Maris won. No, 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 no. I'm saying Maris in his suppressed state would scale above the prime moral that fall ultra instant go yeah, uh, Goku casually. Yeah, okay, good. It. All right. So I just want to make sure you understand because I don't want you to say, oh, I said this later on. All right. So now yeah. as for Moro 7-3, they actually do square off, right? And um, right. we know Moro in his suppressed state, roughly, uh, definitely faster than Moro 7-3 in his suppressed state. Uh, but uh, overall, we do, we do see Mar that Maris does power up, right? Um, he punches Moro in the forehead, rakes the crystal. Moro gets back up after Maris is erased. All right. Okay. Whereas, where, whereas Ultra Instinct Goku fought a full power Moro. And he has obvious feats that place him abo uh, above Mar uh, what Maris is capable of. Like, casually okay. places him above that level of power. Okay. Right. So, that's pretty much so we can actually create a scale. Do you disagree okay. with the scale so um, far? I, I don't agree that Maris was, or sorry, I don't think we have a reason to believe that Maris was going all out against that version of Moro 73. I think the intention of him coming to Earth was to, again, like he stated, um, give Goku his last piece of training so that he can reach a higher state, which was MUI, the purpose of their training. So if he were to go all out and kill Moro 73, um, that would kind of defeat the purpose of the training. Also, all we see is just him uh, sealing him with his angel powers, uh, sealing the gems. So that's really all. Okay, so why, why is it that? So now what it comes down to is trying to create this scenario that makes sense, right? Why would Maris come down to Earth to quote unquote finish Goku's training rather than finish Moro off himself? Right? So be very yeah. Well, that's what he states, yes. So how do we make sense of it? It just simply means that Maris could not defeat Moro 7 3. Why? Okay. Uh, because we see why. Because he punches him dead in the forehead. Right? Uh, so sure. let me so let me clarify the point. Let me clarify the point. So Maris okay. confides in Goku and he places all his faith in Goku. Correct, because he's no longer able of doing the job. All right. So just be, now, if I say correct and you say yes, I won't take that as you agreeing with me. It's just, I, it's just a habit of me saying that, right? So it's yeah, like yeah, when you say right. So yeah, gotcha. All right. So yeah, yeah, really Maris is now confiding in Goku's ability, right? And mm -hmm. we and that's substantiated because before, prior to getting a race, he does say that at your current strength, if you were to attain Ultra Instinct, you would not fall tomorrow or anyone for that matter. Now, anyone doesn't have to be taken literally. It would be taken as far as, you know, as far as Maris knows or as far as Goku is aware of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. But the main point here is Moral 7-3, the same Moral 7-3 that, Mar that Maris himself could not defeat, even though we've already established that Maris intended to defeat Moral himself. And that would be a weaker Moral. And that level of power would make sense for Maris. As to where right now, Moral 7-3 has gotten so strong to where he could not definitively say that, hey, I can actually defeat this guy. And that showcase... Right, that showcase because when he punches him dead in the forehead after powering up, Moro gets right back up, and that's suppressed Moro, by the way. So that's one and two, and two. It makes sense narratively that Maris at this point is like, okay, well, Goku needs it and he needs that push. I can't beat this guy, but what I'm gonna do at the bare minimum is seal off his ability to copy. Okay. At the bare minimum, that's what I can offer Goku at this point. Okay. Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I understand the entire pur purpose of this is to make sense of things. Obviously, we want to make sense of what's uh, happening in the narrative at the moment. So um, the issue there is that we're presuming that Miris can't do the job himself. I understand that this is what you interpret would make sense of this scenario. Uh -huh. But if the entire purpose of Miris and Goku is to train, obviously, for Goku to develop and defeat Moro in the end, um, if we can't presume what Miris is saying or thinking at the time, we can't presume that Miris can't do it himself and just wants Goku to do it because this little push will give him the ability to. If anything, I could just interpret that and say um, Miris may or may not have the ability to do it because we do see him kick his ass, right? Even though all we see is um, him sealing his uh, gem abilities, right? Um, with Goku, right? Uh, I mean, Mira says, I'm here to finish his training. That can be interpreted many different ways. Essentially, like the root of this argument is uh, you presupposing this is what Miris is saying, or this is what makes sense to him. It may make sense to you. But why does it make sense to him? Yeah, so you can say all of that. So my obligation here, my job is to make sense is one to provide a scale, and then also substantiate that scale by what's happening. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what I've done. So even though your response was kind of like long, right, I'll just give you a short answer.
that I provided evidence sure. as to why this makes sense, right? So that's all that matters to me. If if my if my scenario, right, it's not like completely headcanon, it actually makes sense. I provided scans, I provided a narrative argument, right? An actual scale to compare characters, right? And why Goku is pushed to the point of excelling and progressing throughout the story, right? It would make uh -huh. sense. Okay, I'm a, I, I understand. I'm not. I'm not taking away from the validity of your interpretation. Yep. All I'm saying is, this is your way of interpreting interpreting it. If I were to give you another interpretation, and there's no flaws in that interpretation, but you haven't. it would be fine for us to give uh, that interpretation as yeah. well and say there's no reason for us to assume one is greater than the other. Right. So, see, there's a big if though. If you were to give me an interpretation, which you haven't yet. Okay. Okay, my interpretation is that Miris could simply be trying to finish Goku's training, right, mm -hmm. in order for Goku to finish the job. We don't know if he has any reason to because want to he do it can't, himself. right? Because he can't, right? This was before his training, yes. Because he can't. I, I've already established why he can't. So that's why. So we started this uh, discussion, right, um, via your disagreement of providing an actual scale, I provided an actual scale, right? So you're asking me why, and I spent the last 10 minutes explaining why that is the yes. case. Yeah. Yes, you, you spent the last 10 minutes giving your interpretation of the narrative here, yeah. and I'm saying you're, pre you're presupposing that this is what makes sense to Miris. That's all it is. What's your point, though? Why, why, do, why is, okay, doesn't okay. that matter? Okay. If you are presupposing what makes sense to Miris, right, then your entire your entire interpretation is just uh, base. The entire basis of it is just off of a presupposition. We can't go off of that. Why not? Because th you have to substantiate that this is what Miris is thinking. Yeah, I think I've substantiated yeah. that though. What do you think you substantiated it with? Uh, Maris not being able to beat Moral 7-3, therefore he confines in Goku's strength. Okay. Again, you're presupposing that he can't do it. And the only reason you're making yeah, that he can't. conclusion yeah, he is can't. because he doesn't. You're saying you know how I know that? Okay, so let me let me, let me me try to hammer it home a little more. You know how I know that? Because he literally punches Moro and gets raised. Okay. He punches Moro, right, mm -hmm. with the intention of sealing his gems, oh, and sure. then he gets erased by the Grand Priest. Yeah, a stronger Moro. So we, again, so this is why what I'm saying makes sense. Because the Moro that he would have fought, that he intended to fight, is substantially weaker than him in his base. Weaker than Maris in his suppressed state. Okay, oh, oh So okay. Maris I, being I, able to beat that Moro, right... It makes sense had he wanted to finish the job. But just because Moro gets stronger, it doesn't change Maris's character at all. We know that he'd be willing to sacrifice himself for the greater good of the universe. We know that he has a bias because that's substantiated throughout the entirety of the Moro arc, especially as we find out later on that, be that he's an actual angel. So, And he's willing to go full power versus UI Omen Goku in the Room of Spirit and Time. But now you're su simultaneously suggesting that he couldn't have done it versus Moral 7-3, even though Goku was weaker than him. He was willing to go yeah, full power versus... Hold on, hold on. He was willing to go full power versus a UI Omen Goku under the presupposition that he would not get caught. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the only thing that saved him was literally Whis being able to see him and the Grand Priest as well, but Whis does save him. Right, And then we find out that even more egregious was your plan to travel to Earth and do battle against Moro. Because we know that there, there are no secrets, apparently, between angels. So Maris is wrong, and he was still willing to go full power versus UI Omen Goku, right, who is weaker than a full power Moro, who Maris is casually above in his suppressed state. Just to prove a point, just to help him achieve Ultra Instinct. That's where the narrative of finishing his training comes in. Moro gets stronger, Maris is no longer able to do the job, but after getting to know Goku and assessing him for six months in the Room of Spirit and Time, two months IRL time, right, he figures out the kind of character he is, gives him that push, and narratively it makes sense. And it, it actually makes sense as long, you know, with the skill that I provided as well. Okay, I, I understand that, because I, did, I didn't hear what you initially said, right, with yeah. um, you know, he was planning to do battle against Prime Moro. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, I, okay. I, yeah, I opened my argument with it, just just so you know. But yeah, yeah. yeah. you asked yeah. for the okay. scans, yeah. I gave them to yeah. you. Yeah, I get it. So yeah. essentially, we have Miris trying to fight this whole Prime Moro. Um, we know that he believes he could have done it. Okay. The issue is, at the end of his training, Goku hadn't yet achieved MUI, right? And exactly. if Goku hadn't achieved, the, yeah, if Goku hadn't achieved the state he wanted to achieve in order to um. Uh, defeat Moro, right? 
And it would it not make sense that if Goku wasn't able to defeat him, Miris, instead of fighting him himself, finished the training, which was the narrative of the Moro arc, just so Goku could do it himself, right? No. It's like the entire premise of passing on the torch. That's also another interpretation. And this is what boils down back to us presupposing what Miris believes. Miris, we can't assume that he has now like um, kept this, even though um, he wanted Goku to finish his training, which he does clarify before he fights more. Okay, so the, the scenario that you've given is not consistent with Maris's character. Right? I'm not oh, claiming contradiction. Hold on. I'm not claiming contradiction because yeah, yeah. you're just simply providing an interpretation, which is fine. Right? And I respect that. Oh. But it's not consistent with Maris's character. Right? Because the scenario you gave is had he not achieved what he was what he meant to achieve, right? And then you gave me a scenario to where why wouldn't it make sense that Maris would come in to finish the training as he states, right? And that part is true because that's exactly what he does. Okay. So I've already I've already established why it makes sense with the narrative that Maris has already assessed Goku's character, right? But he confides in Goku's strength at two points of this entire fight before he goes to fight Prime Moro, okay? And then after he gets erased, he establishes that Goku needs a push, that the training does work, that it, it actually was successful because Goku himself thinks that Maris spent all this time trying to teach him Ultra Instinct and he can't pull it off. And Maris confirms for him that the training did in fact work, Okay, so we know that much, that all he needs is an extra push. That's it. So, we've already established an actual scale. Maris can no longer defeat Moro himself. That's why he confines in Goku. That's why, and that's substantiated because prior to getting erased, he says at your current strength, if you were to achieve Ultra Instinct, you would not fall to Moro. But, furthermore, what Maris does in the off chance, that maybe Goku doesn't achieve Ultra Instinct, even after this final push, at the bare minimum, which is what I, uh, which is what I suggested before, Maris seals off Moro's ability to copy Goku and everyone else, right? So Maris did the bare minimum based on what he's capable of doing because he could not defeat Moro 7-3 because he was much strong. He had, he had become too, uh, too powerful. And that's substantiated because Prime Moro had become too powerful according to Maris and Whis. That Mar Maris had miscalculated his strength. But even if Maris intended to fight that prime Moro, which is the one that fought Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, uh, right? It would still be fine. Maris wouldn't have to go all out because he's casually above that prime Moro in his suppressed state. One thing I don't understand is how you're uh, trying to tell me that Maris didn't have the ability to defeat Moro. And um, I know he just tries to seal him, but he's been established to be massively faster than him. And I think that in Dragon Ball, when someone is massively faster than someone else, it's also the case that they're at the least stronger than them. Yeah, I'm not going to address that. Yeah. No, I'm not going to address that because yeah. that's going to, that, yeah, that's going to segue into you asking me to prove that speed and power don't, that are, are, are all, well, well, hold on, are always, right? They always correlate to one another or they don't. So I'm not going to answer that. Mm -hmm. Mainly because um, you're, you're suggesting that yeah, because here's why. Because you're suggesting that Maris is massively faster than Moro. And yeah, he's massively fat. I don't know about massively faster, but he's faster than a base Moro 7-3. I don't have a contention with that. That's fine to me. Oh, oh, you don't. You don't no. have an issue with that. No, I don't have an issue. I, I, do I don't have an issue arguing speed. I don't have an issue arguing speed. You know why? Because okay. Moro 7-3 in his base casually dodges just uh, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku just by shrugging his neck and then takes a kick from Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. And then Moro 7-3 one-shots Ultra Instinct Omen Goku out of the form. To whereas with Maris, they're actually moving and causing each other to move. All right? So there's a comparison. Are you, okay. Are you talking about... um? Are you talking about when uh, Miris fights him? When who? Yeah, when Maris oh, fights more. Okay. Are you talking about okay? Listen, okay. Goku. When you're talking about Miris versus um Moro seventy three. Yeah. I think the issue is you're kind of ignoring the fact that if he is stronger, and I have a reason to believe that more speed entails more strength. No, because well, Moro. Be because okay, so okay, Maris powers up, right? Sure. Okay, so mm -hmm. based on that logic, he's stronger and faster than the one that was than his his suppressed state, correct? Sure. Okay, and then he punches Moral 7-3, and then Moral 7-3 tanks it. He doesn't, okay. The so there's your speed. Is, so there, hold on. There's okay. your the speed and power is, argument. The issue is, I don't believe we have a reason to believe that Miris was going all out. All we know is that he was just trying to seal Moro. Right. He never actually went for a punch. And if we okay. have a reason to believe that he's faster, yep. an entailment of that would be that he's stronger. Now, yep. if he's stronger, why would he not try to attack him? 
Here's reason why. being, he wants Goku to uh, he wants to pass the torch to Goku. Mm -hmm. That's consistent with the narrative because he wants Goku to achieve a higher form through the training. He wants to finish did the you, training. Did, the did you did you did you hear when I said that Maris is willing to go full power versus Ultra Instinct Omen Goku? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Was, Under the presupposition that he would not be caught. Under the presupposition that he would not be what? Caught doing so. Yes. Okay. So now that you've acknowledged that, you're telling me, right? Like the chat for, uh, I'd like the chat to listen to this very carefully as well. So you're now suggesting that Maris, under the presupposition that he would not get caught, would go full power versus an ultra instinct omen Goku who's casually, we he's a lot weaker than base Moral 7 3, but not go full power versus Moral 7 3, the guy he intended to kill or face off against, you know, in a weaker state. That doesn't really add up to me. Right, it seems like it's a little inconsistent. There is an issue with that, is issue with that because okay, against against Goku, right? Under the presupposition that Mirrors or Beast and the Grand Priest wouldn't find out, he was going to go full power against him. I do think we have reason to believe that he would have beat the fuck out of Goku because he scales to stronger but he was training him. Of yeah, because yeah, he, he was training him. He was trying to train him. Mm -hmm. He would have beat the fuck out of him anyway. Yeah, yeah. But but against against Moro, that doesn't change the fact that Moro, or sorry, Mirus was faster than this version of Moro, who was stronger by far than the version of Moro he was going to fight at full power initially. Once there's this higher form of Moro, sure, I do agree that maybe he didn't want to fight him, maybe he didn't. It's up to interpretation. He's already been established to be faster, and if that's the case, he should be stronger. Now that we know this, if he's also stronger, but he only resorts to cracking his no. gems. Hold on, no. It's no, not, not a contradiction there. Because but Omen Goku, because Omen Goku powers up and gets slower. When does he do that? When he's fighting Primoral. Actually, I don't think he powered up at all. I think he tried to and it failed. No. No, he powers up. Yeah, I think that's the issue with Ultra Instinct because with Ultra Instinct, the entire point is keeping a calm heart and keeping calm. If he flexes his key, that's defeating the purpose of UI, and therefore he's not, getting weaker. Even though not he for has Omen, attention. not for Omen, because the job is not fully complete yet. That's why he goes full power, right? So I'm I, come on, come on. I know you know this fight Prime because we talked about this when when we were arguing uh, Vegeta versus U, UI um, Omen Goku. All right, yeah, uh -huh. Goku says that. You know, um, a, st a stamina balancing act isn't my style, right? Then he kind of doubts Moro's, you know, uh, power by suggesting that he could beat him at full power, right? As long as he can keep this up, then he'll win. And then Moro just obviously proves him wrong. Um, Moro starts trash talking Goku. Goku says, "You don't get to decide when this is over." Powers up, gets all bulky. He's still, he's still retaining like the UI Omen form, right? But he gets slower. Why does he get slower? Um, it's actually stated what happened to your trademark speed. And then Maris and Weiss are talking about it, like, no, by going, by fighting more at full power, he can't make, you know, the, um, he can't make use of ultra instinct strength, which is its speed. Okay. Um, sure. I think that's specific to UI Omen. And I, I, I don't think there's an issue with saying that it defeats the purpose. Okay. Of so UI then, Omen. so right. So then why are you arguing about keeping a calm heart and all this other nonsense? Because that's the entire premise of UI, is it not? Yeah, of UI. But Goku kind of, what, what does he do? He does the opposite. He just goes full power and pushes himself, right? And it's obviously, it's suggested by Whis that maybe that Saiyans are known to like show untold miracles when their backs are pushed against the wall. Goku must have sensed that. That's why he pushed himself, right? And the Marif is like, bro, what are you doing, bro? And then, Go and then Whis is like, well, I doubt he would have made much, much headway against Moro had he just continued to retain his stamina. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So again, like yeah. it, it doesn't really apply. To, it doesn't really apply. To, but we okay, know that okay, Goku okay. powers up and gets slower. Regardless of this calm heart argument that I just made, uh -huh. do you not think that this would be a unique situation to the UI where sacrificing the stamina, right, um, would cause like a decrease in speed, where that's never been shown in any other instance? Well, no. You were. I mean, what I was answering was your assessment or your. I guess answer or whatever you whatever was your statement yeah, was, but I'll essentially what it me. was is what it was is was that if you power up, you get stronger and faster, blah 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 blah, and that's not always the case because Goku doesn't do it. But with Maris, it is because we know he's mastered Ultra Instinct. We know that Maris has perfect UI, right? So yeah, I agree with that. So I've moved yeah. on from the argument of calm heart because sorry, I might I might have been mistaken of that. But mm -hmm. in this instance, it seems to be specific to Ultra Instinct that sacrificing the stamina and just going all out will decrease the speed because it's a trademark of the Ultra Instinct Omen state. Okay, so why are you trying to argue that with increased speed, if you're faster, that means you're stronger? 
because it's specific to okay in every other instance that isn't specific to ultra instinct it is the case okay when someone powers and yet, up they get stronger and, yet, and they get faster. yeah sure he, powers up, he gets sure. faster he gets stronger and exactly so he gets faster and stronger so he yes. needs that speed and he needs that strength just to break Moro's crystal, which implies he can't destroy his body, which m makes sense with my scale. Okay, that's why he passes the torch Wait, down. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, wish. I don't understand how you're saying he needed it just to affect the crystal in that way. If he's massively faster than him and able to fuck up his crystal and he's just trying to seal him, why okay. would he not also be able to fuck up his body, which would be consistent with my interpretation that he's just trying to pass the torch onto Goku? No, because he doesn't do it. God, <laughs> because he doesn't do it. So you're saying yep. he didn't do it. Therefore, he can't do it. Why? Yes. Why? <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's essentially my premise. I've been arguing for it. You, you can keep yeah, asking I, I, why. And we're just going to keep going in circles. You can keep asking why I keep explaining it to you. And that's fine. If you want to move why, on to another point, we could. I understand. I just think there's an issue with that. But if, if we're done with this, then we can move on to something else. Sure. We can move to the next point. Sure. Okay. Um, but, I, 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 but I'd like the chat to acknowledge that I, I did provide a scale. Right, he disagreed with there being a scale yeah, existing, I, and I provided one. So, sorry, sorry, so that would just have contention with that scale. Well, that's what I. That's meant. cool. I think that's cool. Question. Okay. Okay. So what's your so next? So is that is that just yours? Are we want to mine. Well, I provided a scale, right? So far, is, is, is that okay. just it? Is that it? Can I move on to mine? And I would say Goku did more to Moral Seven Three than uh, Maris did. Um. Yeah, that just goes back into me saying I don't agree that they Which have is fine. that mirror. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess I should so, I should just I should just break it down real quick then. So MUI Goku, right? You know how so um Mo, uh, Maris punches Moro, Moro flies uh, back. Um Goku does a similar feat with the flick of his wrist. And then actually fights full power Moro. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't cut out. Did you hear me? You cut out. I'm sorry. Out. Okay. So um Maris punches Moro. Right, causes him to fly back and those all fly back through rocks and shit like that. Right, um, to whereas wow. MUI Goku is able to replicate a similar feat, and not similar like literally like in every single way, but similar in the sense to where he's casually able to deflect more off, right, and push him back and, yeah. and send him flying okay. with the flick with the flick of his wrist. Um, he actually fights full power Moro and one shots him, um, and that's that. And then Moro's left pectoral muscle does more damage uh, to Moro than Maris did. Yes. Yeah. Edit. Edit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I already told you I disagree with Miris being full power. I don't think we have a reason to believe that. Okay. But, I mean, but well, I mean, I if, if we're just wrapping up, on, if we're just wrapping up on this point, is that is that all we really have to talk about here? Can we go? If Goku is really stronger. All right. Well, I'll I'll, I'll give Bro. you some more evidence. <laughs> I got you. I'll give you some more evidence. <clears throat> all right. Oh, so we're still talking about this here. One second. I'm gonna post in the scans for you. Sure. Okay. Um. Let me see. And high risk is funny. Copy image. You are funny, actually. All right. Go to scans. <laughs> you see this scan right here? This is what would happen if Maris kicked Goku. Let's see. What are you, ta what are you talking about? Um. Moro is using Maris's power. Oh. Um. Here. Do you want to argue a... that it's not full power? Do you want to argue that? Sure. I do want to argue that actually. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you laughing there. That's what would happen if Maris kicked the Goku. I'm just telling you, he would just dust it off and tell him to try harder. Sure. Let me open up my phone. Scans. I'll let you know right now, 7-3, his copy ability copies you at your full strength as well. Hey. Yeah, sure. I agree with that. So then what's the problem? What's the contention? I don't think uh, Moro was able to bring out his full power. I can get the scans for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not watch Goku hold his own versus Planet Moro? <laughs> Let alone this Moro, who's using Maris's power. Planet and that's Moro. What about what, what about Planet Moro? Oh my God, bro! Go ahead, just give me give me an argument. <laughs> the left. Is, oh shit. Okay. Mm. He couldn't use his full power. Jesus Christ! It's like that's that's like that's like we haven't seen Beerus's full power, so we don't know how strong he is. It's like. <laughs> That's what that is. That's not. It's not really what I'm saying here. Hold on. Uh, it's equivalent to it. It's. <laughs> these, are two, these are two examples. Hold on. Let me get this copy paste. Okay. Copy text. 
Falcons. Okay. First is just a drawback to post. A drawback to when Ginyu used Goku's power, and the second <laughs> one is Dragon Ball, and then Moro. I don't think we can actually come to the conclusion that Moro was able to use his full power here. Okay. Um, you know, Whis confirms that his that there is angel power coursing through Moro's body, right? Yes, there is all angel right. power. He's yeah. able to bring it all up. Yeah. You know, uh, Goku tells... Uh, around this point, Goku is telling Moro that uh, something similar to what happened to your boy Zagambo is happening. So abandon Maris's abilities or be destroyed by them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. you're showing me you're showing me the point as to where Moro's body started to react to the power that he was just using prior. Sure. Right? Uh, okay. Um, I think, okay. Yeah, I think the issue with okay. that is um, he was okay. He was fighting on par with a version of Goku that was confirmed to be suppressed, and then Goku starts to try a little harder, and then as soon as um, no Goku Moro tries harder. harder. Moro like reflects this and tries to block his attacks in the same places that uh Goku hits him. Right. His body starts to boom, fucking balloon like Troy's stomach. Yeah. So you know if if Ultra Instinct Goku is kicking Moro's body with Maris's power, right? It, it means it, it means it means Goku's he's so strong that Moro's body cannot adapt to that, right? Yes, because he has okay. to hone his body to handle MUI, which was stated by Luis. Yeah, but he was Dang able to use the power prior to that till suddenly, right? What happens over time? His body start his body starts to react as Goku starts mm -hmm. hitting him harder, right? So yeah, suppressed so, wait, 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 so wait, wait, suppressed wait, 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 MUI Goku is above Maris. Yeah, hold on. The issue with that is you're saying go or, or Mira or sorry, Moro was using Miris's full power, but I'm saying he was only fighting on par with a version of Goku that was going not all out and then moro starts to try a little harder to mm -hmm. fight off against goku mm -hmm. and then what happens is he can't handle this newly found power so are you going to concede now because you you just said that he was using maris's full power against uh suppress goku which i'm yeah. saying suppress goku is above maris's full power are you going to concede now okay the issue is his body wasn't able to handle it so it no. wouldn't go the same. okay but you acknowledge that he used it he used his full power against a suppress Goku. And when Goku told him to try harder, it, then his body started to react. Right? So it's an um, overtime thing. I think, he, listen, I think he attempted to use the full power and it got fucked up. <laughs> you, are you going to change the stance? It's, it's okay. okay if you're going to change the stance. It's all right if you want to clarify. I don't know if I'm like elaborating enough, but I think, okay, my point is he wasn't going all out at first. Then he starts to go all out or at least attempts to. And when he attempts to, his body puffs up like Troy's stomach, and then what happens is that's not what happens at all. It all out. But that's not what happens at all. His body starts yeah, to react when Goku starts fucking him up. Getting off track, Pack and Troy. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. When Goku starts fucking him up, like he kicks his arm, and his arm like is melting and shit. Yes, because his bo Moro's body could not handle the okay, most extensive. Sure, body. and then and then what happens? Moro ends up possessing a body that can contain, right? He can can use all yeah. Yeah, let me, let me go back to that scan. Yeah. So he's not using UI right. per se, but it doesn't it doesn't dismiss his level of power, right? So do you, you think Goku scales past Planet Moro? Yes. Why? I mean, I'm just gonna point you to the chapter where he fought Planet Moro. Sure. Because Goku because Planet Moro still cannot damage Goku. Uh, did you remember the part where he tries to catch him off guard and shoots this big ass key blast from his mouth? And Goku's just like, "What's going on?" He's he's not even like he's not phased because he's sustained damage. He's phased because he's like, "What is Moro doing right now?" Okay, w what's the chapter number? Uh, sixty three, sixty four ish. Uh, sixty four. Let's check this out. Uh, it'll be sixty six or fifty five. What scan do you want? Here. Oh, Good, here. Sixty six. 56. Yeah, okay, here, look. I'll give it to you. I got these. I got this. Don't worry. I got this, man. Trust, I, I trust you. You see that key blast? Huh? So yeah. where's the argument about not being able to use full power now? Where's that going? Here. Where's that? Let's see. Right? I, I don't, don't worry, I got this. It would have been It would have been cool if you argued Ultra Instinct, to which I would agree, but it doesn't dismiss the level of power you used, right? That's so, what it comes down wait, to. Wait, I'll get this. I'll get this. What are you talking about here? Uh, Moro is above Maris. Let's see. Oh, you think Moro is above Miris here? Huh? 
You think this... Moro is above Maris here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm at Goku. I'm sorry. Goku's above Maris. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I, I don't worry. I have other scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just flipped that with his finger, bro. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. Which is not a surprise. We just above Maris. I mean, I don't have an issue with that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say. So slowly but surely, we've provided we've we've actually provided a scale. It's kind of surprising, huh? Mm. Yeah. So I don't I don't see where else this can go really. Um, you've acknowledged suppressed Goku's above Maris. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the other way. Wait, I've acknowledged who above Maris? Suppress suppress Goku, dude. Suppress every white Goku. Is it above full power? More with Maris is full power, dude. I got this. I got this. I'll send you the scans. Just I don't know. I don't see what you're gonna do, man. Just concede the okay. scale. You can argue a different point. Listen, okay. Listen, no, I don't even think there's an issue with this. I just I think they should be relative. Relative. Because right here, right here, because we see Goku has damage on his body. He's failing to respond to all of his attacks. He's being pressured. Obviously, we see damage on his body. He's going blow for blow with these hands. Hmm. And then again, we see him just blocking these attacks, and we have scratches all over his body. So I mean, I think I think they scale to each other. If anything, no, Goku, no. Still, Goku can still block casually. They don't scale to each other. Why do you think casually? <laughs> yeah, because Goku's not getting pushed back. What do you mean? What are you talking about right now? <laughs> oh, I'm confused as what you're saying here because we literally see him going blow for blow with all of them. They like, scale to each other. UI omens put scratches on Prime Moral. That doesn't mean like that they fucking scale to each other definitively. It doesn't mean that. Oh Moral he's, listen, he's able to damage Goku and go blow for blow to him in speed. There's no reason here for us to say that Goku should scale above him. We have Dude. reason to believe they scale to each other to some extent. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, Is I'm, not gonna, or I'm not gonna I'm not I'm talking to myself. I'm not gonna extend I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna extend the conversation again just because I've already argued for the scale. All right. So that's my argument. Wait, are you wait, listen? Are you trying to argue here that there is a scale or that? Because how long is this? This is about like what? This is like thirty-seven minutes, roughly. So I've been arguing I, I for a scale this whole time. I I hope you've been arguing for what you think is a good scale. I'm trying to argue here that I don't think there's a good scaling. I have established. Or, I'm it's sorry, okay. I, I mean, that. it's okay. It's okay if you don't think it's good, but I yeah, yeah. it's fine. fine. That's fine. We're all good. Emma's mostly peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess we can go to the next point. Okay, my next point would be just the statement that Goku's at the bottom of the ladder. Lol. Or that. Oh, well. So, yeah, so I I would say that the last 37 minutes of this conversation suggest otherwise, right? Um, if you're going to try to suggest that he's below Maris. <clears throat> though, I will... <gasps> so, I will okay. say... So, I will say this, though. Um, I don't have sure, an definitely. issue... I don't have an issue with saying... Well, I'm below Maris's command of Ultra Instinct, seeing as how he just he just mastered it, he just got it. I don't see an issue with that, right? It doesn't mean that Goku's conceding okay. to Maris's power at all or his speed and sure, things of that sure, nature. Sure, but I, I do think there's some context to it. I'll grab that. Don't worry. Sure. Actually, I here what what I'll just argue essentially is that um, prior to this statement, we just see Goku training with Whis. Obviously, we know Whis is or sorry, Goku is a character who wants to constantly train to fight stronger opponents. Okay, mm -hmm. if yeah. the purpose of training is MUI to have more command over it is to gain more strength, mm -hmm. and obviously the context of these statements are strength because we know the Grand Priest is over Whis, Whis is over Miris, and then as soon as we uh, Miris is inserted at the bottom of the ladder. Goku inserts himself into the bottom of the ladder and they talk about growth and how to get stronger. Yeah. So Where's yeah, that's on? so Goku does talk about getting stronger, right? Yeah. But again, it's as I've mentioned, um, I don't I don't see why people would have an issue with Goku saying my command of ultra instinct is lower than Maris, who has had it for X amount of his lifespan. Yeah. So yeah, essentially what I'm saying is he he it is the case that he has less command over it, but an entailment of that would be less strength. Can we agree that characters who don't have UI exist that can scale to UI Goku? Um, who don't have UI? Um, <laughs> Moro, <laughs> the guy you were arguing for just a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, you might have Ultra Instinct there, buddy. Wait, I, hold on. I thought Moro. I thought Planet Moro and, and Ultra Instinct Goku were relative. Hey, hold on. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about? Did you say Moro didn't have Ultra Instinct? I said it would have been cool if you tried to argue that he was he wasn't using UI anymore, but it's whatever. 
that's a, that's a different Goku topic. Against, but against but you were just Mark. trying to argue, but you were just trying to argue that Moro, Planet Moro, and Ultra Instinct Goku scale to each other, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Or, sorry, they can be relative, but one and I, and be I, above I, the other. Yeah. So yeah, they could be relative, and one could be above the other, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, sure, sure. yeah, so do you see why like Goku saying that you know okay Maris has better command than Ultra Instinct than I do it doesn't really have to mean that they talk about power especially if we can acknowledge that characters that don't have Ultra Instinct can scale to that level of power right Vegito Blue yeah. Vegito Blue with Final Kamehameha oh, yeah. can scale to that level of power yeah. Jiren probably Broly Gogeta etc etc right I don't think any of those guys scale to like oh, everybody. Really? Yeah, they so, could. Well, I well, well, the word I used was level of power, right? Because you were talking about power. strength. Yeah, they could scale to level of power. Sure, sure. Right. The future, just j no. Well, just simply because under the under the premise that they surpass Beerus, right? They could scale to the level of power. I'm so. Oh, right? So again, Goku, Goku saying, "Yeah, Maris has better command over UI than me because I just got it like what, uh, like, fifteen days ago." Right yeah. <laughs> or some shit versus Maris, who's had it since he was like born, probably under the pre. Yeah, again, yeah, under, yeah. Yeah. I, I really don't have an issue with there being alternate interpretations. I'm just saying there is an interpretation that allows us to think that Goku is below Miris. Well, at the same time, there isn't reason to believe that uh, and, Goku yeah. scales above. Maris. So Goku scales above Maris, but his com but his commandment of Ultra Instinct isn't as good as Maris. See, so we could still uh, say those two things, and it would make sense. <laughs> Sure, sure. You, you think he scales above Miris, that's fine. I think they should be at, at the very least relative. Well, that would be how I would address the latter argument, right? So, if there's any, if there's uh, anything else you want to argue, I guess we could be done here and let chat. There, there really is. You should be good. Alright, man.